Mixpanel versus Google Analytics. Hi guys, Mixpanel and Google Analytics 4 are two of the most popular analytics platforms. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Google Analytics and Mixpanel, and we'll consider eight criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. The first thing to understand is that GA4 and Mixpanel are two platforms with completely different purposes. GA4 is meant for web and app analytics, while Mixpanel is geared towards product analytics. Product analytics, such as the events and reports on Mixpanel, tell you why people are using your product. So Mixpanel is different from Google Analytics because Google Analytics is more focused on analyzing sources of traffic in organic search. Mixpanel is concerned with how users behave once they reach your product, whereas Google Analytics is focused on how users got to your website or app. So let's find out which one is better for you. And let's start with the pricing. Mixpanel offers three different pricing plans for your SAAS product. You can have a free version of Mixpanel if you'd like to find a product market fit for your startup with limited access to features. If you require more features, you can opt for the growth plan, in which you build your plan starting at $25 a month, or you can contact sales for the enterprise plan, in which you have all the features Mixpanel offers. Google Analytics does not offer any pricing plans. It is entirely free. You don't need to worry about extra costs, unless you are a much larger company that needs advanced features that standard Google Analytics would not be able to provide. In that case, you can purchase Google Analytics 360 for $150,000 per year. Pricing is one of the top factors to consider since it will be critical in the decision-making process. If you're on a budget and a startup, you can use Google Analytics and benefit from numerous features for free. However, if you're a growing company, the standard version of Google Analytics may not serve your needs completely. In that case, paying a certain amount and getting advanced features could be better for your company. Mixpanel offers two paid plans for your growing company and enterprise. You can contact sales and create a customized pricing plan for advanced features. And for the data visualization, Mixpanel and Google Analytics can help you create dashboards for creating changes in traffic, conversions, funnels, segment trends, and other data visualization metrics. And for the funnel tracking, both Mixpanel and Google Analytics feature funnel analysis. Funnel analysis helps to track users in a funnel-based model. It tells you how many users make it through each phase of the funnel while also showing problems and areas of improvement for better conversion. Mixpanel funnels allow you to change data, show how users interacted with your website, and segment reports based on your audience. Google Analytics enables you to collect data via multi-channel funnels. And for the data reporting, both tools report analytics data from your digital properties. With Google Analytics, you can obtain the audience, advertising, and acquisition reports. Meanwhile, you can get product analytic reports from Mixpanel. And for the user tracking, Mixpanel is an event-based tracking tool, while Google Analytics is a page view-driven tool. As an event-driven tool, Mixpanel can track the resulting code of a user action in JavaScript or other APIs. Thus, you can track clicks, video plays, downloads, and much more with Mixpanel. As a page view driven tool, Google Analytics can track page visitor activities, including page refreshes and page views, to gather visitor information such as IP addresses and browsers. Google Analytics can keep track of user journeys through the website and is excellent for understanding the traffic from multiple marketing channels. And for the e commerce integration, Google Analytics offers this feature and is great for e-commerce companies since it collects many crucial data, such as e-commerce conversion rates and transactions. You can filter these data according to market traffic. And for the user identification, one advantage that Mixpanel has over Google Analytics is its ability to track data at an individual user level. Mixpanel can identify users by their names and emails. The best you can do in Google Analytics is to track the user ID. 
And for the integrations, the native integrations that Google Analytics 4 has are Google Ads, Google Search Console, Google Optimize, Google BigQuery, Ad Manager, Display and Video 360, Merchant Center, Google Play, Search Ads 360, Google Data Studio. Mixed panel integrations include Google Ads, Databox, Amazon Web Services, Snowflake, Google BigQuery, Facebook Ads, and others. Unfortunately, most mixed panel integrations require you to cooperate with their technical partner. It's not so intuitive as just turning off, turning on native integration in Google Analytics. The native integrations Mixpanel has is only with data warehouses. So choosing between Google Analytics and Mixpanel depends on your business and your needs. Both Google Analytics and Mixpanel have their pros and cons. They both focus on different methods of data analysis and offer different pricing plans. However, with the help of this Mixpanel versus Google Analytics video, I think you should be able to figure out which tool is better suited to your needs. My recommendation? I would suggest you look at Google Analytics 4. These tools make your company grow faster. Intelligent and innovative people will make an impact. Thus, GA4 can be your choice. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So hopefully this video helps you out. If it did, leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too. Goodbye for now.